Hello my scrapping friends, I'm Deborah Kozlovic and welcome to Creating Your Memories. Today I want to share with you uh, Creative Memories have released a new frame punch which is the pumpkin patch. Um, it's a beautiful frame punch uh, and you've got your pumpkins and then you've got your apples on that punch which all punch out together and today I'm going to show you some different um, ideas of using the pumpkin. The papers I'm using today are the Autumn Harvest. So I've got a couple of sheets here. Um, so basically with the frame punch you can still punch a border with your frame punch so and that's the same with the you're starting at our black line which is on the front and on the plate of your punch so I'll just demonstrate that so I'm just going to line up my paper on the black line and then I'm going to punch and then I'm just going to move it along and match it on the blue on the plate so I'm just lining that up with my punch out bits with the blue on the plate and then punching along. So as you can see, using, I might use the blue, you might be able to see it a little bit better. So then now using that blue, you can see that it makes a gorgeous edging of a punch. And you could either cut that off using a decorative blade or even tearing it and maybe putting you know a bit of brown down the bottom as dirt as your pumpkins are growing from the dirt so that's an idea of doing a border using the pumpkin patch punch also with the pumpkin patch punch you also get these little cutouts which is you know up to yourself if you would like to keep them so on one you do get this little apple shape and then you also get some leaves and then you've got the, you know, like the indents of your pumpkin. So there's your leaves and then you've got an apple and then you've got a little swirl. So their option if you would like to keep those. So then moving on from just doing a standard border with the punch. So now I'm going to demonstrate using a frame. So when we're using the punch as a frame because it is a frame punch we need to have equal sides of our paper so the first one I'm going to be using is a 12 by 12 and what I'm going to be doing is on your frame punches you have like a silver line which I'm going to line up my edge of my paper on that line so I'm just lining it up on the edge of that line and punch. And then I'm going to do exactly the same thing is following it through, matching up the design on the plate of the punch and then continue to punch. So I'm just lining it up. And then when you come to your last one, you're lining the pictures up on your plate and then the edge of your paper should sit at the other silver line on the opposite side. So then when you finish doing your first lot of punching, you have these little bits at the end. So when I turn that and then lining it up on the edge of the silver line again and punching, that little cube comes out. So then I'm going to continue to punch and lining it up on the plate. So I'm just going to continue on and lining it up. So remember that we started with a 12 by 12 piece of paper. So when using the frame punch, you have to have equal sides so you can use a 12 by 12 10 by 10 6 by 6 so now that i'm flipping that again i'm lining that edge up on the straight line and then i'm going to continue to match it up 
and punch. So as I was saying that you could use this punch with equal sides. You can also use it as a four by four. Um, and you can also punch with a four by four. I mean, I should say a four by six, which also has the equal size. You just can't use the odd numbers. So with my last side of the punch, I'm going to continue then again to line up that edge on the silver line and then punch. And then I'm going to do that right to the end. And as you can see on the piece of paper that I'm punching along and making a frame, the edges of the pumpkin is actually circled all the way around the four sides of the designer paper. So I just move out all my little punch poo. And as I said, it does punch out, you know, the leaves, the apple and the inserts of your pumpkin. And they're optional if you would like to keep those. So I'm just going to bring in a backing piece of paper again. So as you can see, just by punching around the 12 by 12 designer paper, it makes a beautiful backgrounding or base for your, um, for your page layout. So now that I'm going to bring in the trimmer and I'm going to make a frame from the frame, so I'm actually going to cut the middle bit out and I'm with that, I'm going to be using a decorative blade and I'm going to be using the Victorian. And when I do my frame cutting, I actually face the trimmer so it's facing me so I can see the line on the housing and then I can see the numbers on the side. So with this, this should measure just under the 12 inches. So if I go from the furthest point of that pumpkin leaf to the other one. So it's 11 and three quarters. So I'm going to line it up and cut two inches off. So I'm just going to put it in the trimmer, lining up the edge of my cutting on the two inches. I might do it this way. It's a little bit hard to see with the um, with the pattern. So I'm just going to line that edge up on the two inches and making sure that it's up against the top. So now I'm just going to put the arm down and then using this. I'm going to line the housing up on two inches and then I'm going to go down to get this right. So then 11 and three quarters. So I want to go down to actually, I think I want to go down 11 and three quarters. So I'm just going to go down to. Probably one and three quarters down to ten. So hopefully that makes an even side of my squares. So then I'm going to turn it, lining it up again at my two inches. So hopefully this works in my favour with doing those measurements. So I'm going to line it up at one and three one and three quarters down to ten. So they're going to spin it again and then do lining that leaf up on the two inches and and again at one and three quarters down to ten 
And then the last side. So I'm just going to repeat that again, lining it up on my two inches. And starting at one and three quarters, just turn that around so I can see, down to 10. So hopefully I have even sides, which I'm hoping the best. Oops. So I'm just gonna change over my blade now to back to the straight blade. So as you can see, I've just made my pumpkin patch frame edge with a frame in the middle. So that's another idea that you can actually do for a, you know, a page layer and then just do your little design or put your photos inside the middle. And that's the yellow on the reverse side, which that really, really stands out. So now, moving on to my next little trick using a frame punch, is I'm going to measure this middle piece of paper that I've cut out, putting it on the edge, and that measures eight by eight. So I'm just going to put the trim on the side. I'm going to bring back in my, my punch and I'm going to punch another little frame around the edging. So I'm just going to line up that edge again on that silver line and then following the pattern along like so and then spinning it around lining it up again on the edge and that little cube should come out so just matching it as you go you with an eight by eight you only get three punches on each side so lining that up again and putting that on lining it up and punching as you go. So moving some of that punch poo. So now for the last side, we'll line it up on that silver line and then following the pattern on the plate of the punch and punching through. So now we just punched around an eight by eight. So I can bring back in my layout now. And if I wanted to, I could have the yellow on the reverse because the yellow really stands out with that blue background. And then you could always have the brown in the middle or you then again, you can have the yellow, but I think that clashes a little bit too much, but that yellow, um, frame that we just punched around that eight by eight it looks nice just in the middle of um, this page layout so you could use that you could use it without you can use it within or taking the bigger frame away and you could just use the one and which this, with this punch proof as I can said before that you can actually keep these little bits and then all you've got to do I think I need another color because if I put that in now you can just cover up with the um, the apples and you can put it in your um, in your punch out like where the apple is you can actually fill it in with the bits that we just punched out and the same with the leaves or the pumpkin you might want to use different cardstock and you can actually you know put them in to fill them up 
and then you can you know like make the real leaves on the pumpkin and then you've got the apples and that will bring out your layout again using all those different bright colors so if I wanted to I could um, then get this again and taking um, another two inches off and that should bring me down to a four by four so if I do that again so lining that up at the two inches again because that gives enough in between from the edge of your punch on your page and that's down to nearly eight so then again I'm going to start at one and three quarters I'm just going to put this on the side so one and three quarters down to six make sure I cut through that yeah and then lining it up on two inches again and then one and three quarters down to six and we're just going to continue to do that same thing all the way around your frame so one and three quarters where are we down to six and then you've got your last little bit So one and three quarters again, down to six. So now, so you have that hole in the middle again, and then this one should be, if my measurements are correct, it should be a four by four. So then if I get my punch again, so usually with a four by four, either side of your paper will sit in between those silver lines. So I'm just going to line that up in between those lines and punch. And I'm just going to continue that same process around. So it's just one punch on each side. And then last one. And punch. And now you have the 4x4. Four so there are some ideas of using the pumpkin patch frame punch of making a frame out of a frame out of a frame using one 12 by 12 designer paper and then backing it on another designer paper or cardstock and then you also just have your straight border edge and then you can make a little border down the bottom using that. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial on using different ideas using the pumpkin frame punch. Until next time, happy scrapping.